Hey everybody, Mike Dukes here. I'm with Karen Wolf. We're at the Kokomo Humane Society. It's been two whole weeks, the whole holiday thing, but we're back. And we have with us Tori, aka Scary Spice. <laughs> Has some kind of Halloween coloring to her. She loves attention. I'm just going to put that out there. So, what do we know about aka Scary Spice? She. We coined her that because she was she's in the colony in the front and she is kind of scary. She really likes attention a lot, so she'll butt up against you and grab your hands with her paws and try and lead them to her head. But um, she is declawed, and if you're looking for a declawed cat, don't come and get a kitten because we don't want you to do that. <laughs> we really are not um, in favor of declawing, but if you want a declawed cat, we we get them in all the time, and so this is a perfect example. Uh, one that you can come and adopt. It won't cost you the huge fee to get her declawed, and she's already done. But she's super friendly. Um, she's calmed down a lot. She's not quite so scary, but I like Scary Spice anyway. But she's really nice cat. She's got a really long nose. She's very pretty with her green eyes. But she's a super friendly cat, a little dog-like, don't you think? She followed me everywhere I went. I was setting the camera up, and she had to come over and meow and rub against me the whole time. Trying to get solo shots of just her without Karen in here was impossible because she wanted me to be petting her. So if I tried to step away to get a camera shot, she'd jump off, and yeah, she loves the loving. I didn't think I could hold her before, but she's <clears throat> super friendly, so she'll be one who'll be with you all the time. So we were talking about the personalities. Cats all have their own personalities, just like dogs and people. And sometimes people think you get a cat, just pick a cat. The color you like, like a gumdrop or a jelly bean, you can pick the color you know. They're all really different. So if you want a cat that's going to leave you alone and just sort of be pretty, this isn't the one. She's pretty, but she's going to be on you all the time and following you around, want to know what's going on. But she's a really nice cat, just two years old, so it's a good age. And um, $30 adoption fee. Any idea how she would do with dogs? I noticed when the dogs were barking, she didn't seem scared, just interested. She's pretty, in, she's pretty confident. I think she would be okay. And, and like I always say, if you, if you provide them with a, a cat tree or somewhere that they can not just to get away for safety, but to get away so that they feel, if they're up high above a dog, they're gonna feel more confident. So that there will, there'll be a place they enjoy being um, as well as a place that's gonna be safe for them away from a dog. If you have a dog that definitely wants to kill a cat, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. But if you have one that's just maybe curious, they might be good friends, you never know. My cats, when they're in a loving mood, will just come up and rub against my German Shepherd. Mine, mine rub against ours, and actually, and Finn will chew on one of them, just sort of nibble on her head and her neck, and she loves it. So they do get along, but she, this is a great cat. And she's in the front, uh, the colony in the front of the shelter when you walk in, so you can peek at her there and then ask to see her and, and come in and meet her in the visitation room, which is a great thing to have a little time to get to know them. But if you ask for Scary Spice, they might not know who you mean, so you might want to say Tori. Yeah. Holidays are over. It's January. You're sitting at home, kind of bored, don't know what to do. I know what you can do. January is a fine time to volunteer at the Kokomo Humane Society. What exactly would a volunteer do? Oh, there's so many things. <laughs> um, initially, when um, I first started here, it was volunteers walk dogs, socialize cats, they helped fill adoption bags. Now it's there's just so many things. We have people that are greeters here that'll come and take people through the shelter and help them um, look at the animals. There's people that um, do laundry, do dishes, uh, um, help clean, uh, do play groups, help with the play groups for the dogs. Um, still walk the dogs and socialize the cats, do outside offside adoption events, um, any number of things. We can always use someone to come and take pictures of the animals. If you've gone on our website, we try really hard, but we'll have animals missing on there. So if you're, if you like to take pictures, basically you can take 
photographs of the animals and then email them to us or text them or whatever and then we put them on the website so that makes it easier to get them adopted or videos see all do. kinds of fun stuff to do fill kongs for the dogs um, put peanut butter on the frisbees for the dogs um, all sorts of all sorts of opportunities so if you come in Paula is our volunteer coordinator and she's excellent so she'll find you a good spot Kong filler mm -hmm. you <laughs> you could be a Kong filler or a peanut butter frisbee placer yeah so all of that any any all and above so if you're sitting at home thinking man I should be doing something there you go come to the Kokomo Humane Society if nothing else you can come in with your phone, take a bunch of pictures and videos of all the animals, and then you can point to the website and say, hey, I did that. I helped that dog or cat get adopted. Scary Spice. She's not scary. Spice, I can see that. Just because of the fur. Scary, not so much. So come meet Tori, a.k.a. Scary Spice. Come see all the cats, all the dogs that we have here, and hey, come volunteer. We'll see you next week.